it's been a while. It's been a very long while. It's now the um, the first of December, uh, and I've decided to get back into it and do um, Vlogmas. So um, yes, in in chatter. These will be short, chatty, hopefully short. Anyway, yes. So to bring you sort of up to date, I was going to put episode ten up and um, <laughs> chickens. Yes, chickens. I was thinking, oh, I'll just tidy up the chicken garden for them. Uh, oh, big bunch of nettles, get rid of that. Um, got all prepared, big coat, wellies, hats, gloves, the lot. And bent down with me, um, with me cutting equipment to cut the nettles. Um, had them sprayed on side with something else and couldn't get up. No, uh, my back had gone. I pulled my sciatic nerve and um, a soft tear tissue injury or something on my back. Anyway, it hurt like, well, dare I say it, it was bloody painful. I've never felt pain like it, even standing up was a nightmare. I had the compost heap on one side, which had deflated a little bit. I had the, um, the nettles, obviously, and the blackberry bushes on the right side, so I couldn't grab anything. And the little buggers were running around my feet saying, book, 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 where's, where's the nom-noms, you know? They weren't bothered at all. So, yes, when I finally got back to the house and everything, um, that was a bit of a nightmare. So, um, been off work for a while. I didn't go back till, I think now, was it October I went back? I can't remember. Now it's been busy and we've got the lovely COVID is rattling on for Christmas. So, we'll see. Anyway, right, I am doing this Dogma style, which apparently is um, like uh, one of these classic um, camera styles where you don't edit. So this will be interesting. And hopefully then I'll get it up. Um, anyway, this is because of Arnie and Carlos that I've been binge-watching quite a lot. And if you haven't seen Arnie and Carlos, you need to... Because they are fab. They're so funny. And uh, spoiler alert, the last week sitting in it for a bit um, was so good because Arnie made Carlos do the woodwork. Oh, you've got to see it. To, to, it was historic, historical. Anyway, moving on. Right, so um, weather wise, dull. Uh, sort of, yeah, cloudy and overcast, I think. Even the birds aren't really chuffed with it today it's not much bird song either um yeah so there you go working i'm still working nights i'm doing a bit of overtime at the moment which is fine don't mind doing a bit of helping out and everything um so let's move on right slip stravaganza west Nits. oh by the way if you didn't know already this is a podcast about knitting crochet spinning maybe some dyeing in there maybe some chickens um depends anyway slip stravaganza by <laughs> stephen west i was so keen to do it this year um yeah um i've had a few pullbacks but saying that you can see now uh that's the bottom edge there Lovely, a bit of eye cord. I've never done an eye cord before. That was surprisingly easy and I absolutely love it. Um, the stripes of colour. Very similar to his painting bricks or painted bricks, I thought. And it, I think it comes from there. Uh, a bit of... It's all slip stitches as well. If you hadn't guessed, slip stravaganza is all slip stitches as well. It worked on. You can see on the back. I don't know if anybody actually shows their backs. I did make a few mistakes. I just couldn't get my head around this section for some reason. It's not that difficult. So um, the ribs, yeah, I had a couple of ribs missing. So I pulled it back um, a few times. Yeah, I was a bit, uh, yeah, a bit to the point that I couldn't count. I was getting a bit fed up of it. Anyway, so persevered, pulled it back again. And now I'm on to section three. But I have put it aside a little bit because I've got other stuff going on at the minute. Anyway, this beautiful yarns are all Fruitful Fusion by Ishra. Uh, her stuff is gorgeous. This is the Hydrangea uh, Fade Set. Treated myself, but there was um, she had a wonderful discount on it as well. So um, 
that was great so i absolutely love it plus some as you might be able to see by the fluffiness there some 1980s vintage mohair i think it's a hay field one you can see a little bit of a halo on that side but you can see it really well on that side and i think that's why it's dark it's gonna be warm around your neck like that all the way around obviously um so yeah and i'm absolutely loving it the blue again is um that's not in the third set and i wish she had a blue to go with it actually these the pink the green and uh, that purple so it's garden i can't remember the names but anyway it's a fantastic set from fruitful fusion oh i do have a tendency to really really like it at the moment anyway so that's moving on quite nicely i'll um, continue it when i've got my other knitting finished i've got something i'm doing for somebody at work she asked me to do a cardigan for a nephew which is fine not really what i do but it's just taking more time than i would have liked and distracting me from other things but saying that you know it's the time of giving and all that anyway um yes and talk about giving yes i um missed a couple of the yarn festivals recently which has probably been a good thing so i haven't bought and then up popped one for um what's it called now it's the three girls it's a lovely yarn company it's orchidean yarns and it's for the love of yarn are doing um a combined um well giveaway there's a giveaway which is oh yes there's a giveaway it's gorgeous and there's a box and everything and, and one skein from each of them and some little bits and pieces so that's nice and all you have to do is every time you buy something from either of them what's it called now is it on here i'm just wondering whether it's actually on no it's not on for oh yeah three entries for the giveaway I... oh yes so um yeah so that'll be good and you get 10 percent. i think it's 10 percent, or is it 15 percent off as well so it's brilliant anyway she had um she's got mystery skins has the loveliest yarn company banshee yarns she um, has her own brand which is banshee yarns and she also sells other yarns two mystery skins 13 pounds bloody good price so i thought well and there's a lot of solids and stuff i thought i've always wanted to try banshee yarns um so i have <laughs> they are absolutely flipping gorgeous um and the red is this is that ah that bit there is is showing really good yeah it's they're absolutely beautiful um they're by banshee yarns come on focus yep and this one is a cashmere sock cashmere sock ho, ho, ho. um 80 percent uh, superwash merino 10 percent cash and 10 percent nylon it's 100 gram skein 400 meters cool hand wash colors made running first washes stain this one is called stain and it's absolutely flipping gorgeous and this one oh it's the coordinated mohair lace and it's 72 percent kid mohair 28 percent silk a bit better than the old 80s mohairs um it's a 50 gram skein it's 420 meters and it's called she and you can see the fluffiness on that it feels beautiful it does not feel incredibly itchy like my 80s vintage ones do and um just to make it up to 30 pounds so i got the three entries because i was nearly there i got this lovely llama tweed llama tweed is this it's a bit deeper a bit deeper in color oh that's getting better a bit deeper in color than it shows there and it's 40 percent llama 40 percent oh it's hang on i'm looking at, oh let's look at the english yeah it's in different languages right 40 percent llama 40 percent virgin wool and 20 percent donegal oh this is donegal nets and as you can see those nets there um there's black there's white there's brown oh they're rather nice and it feels absolutely gorgeous and i think it was on sale as well so imported from peru haha -ha! and it's called 
Camaros. Camaros? Anyway, there you go. It's beautiful and it's from Peru. So it's supporting people out there. Absolutely cracking yarn. Well, and what else? Ah, I have a spin. Oh, now should I show it? Yeah, what the hell? I've doubled up actually. I've plied it together. There were four spins in all with my new drum guider. Ha 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 ha. Uh, which is up on Instagram the pictures. But I mean, I, mean, I, I do like a textured yarn, slightly textured, and I like hand spun to look like it's been hand spun. I am so in awe of those people that can do consistent yarn. I can't yet, but hey, I'm not too bored because I quite like it a little bumpy and bumpy. I like a bit of texture. So this is two yarns plied together. I've got, um, it was swobbly, I'm pretty certain. Or was it Black Welsh Mountain? Do you know, I'm not sure. And they do look very similar. And they've got a similar feel. Anyway, it's either swobblies. It might even be both. I think it's swobblies with a bit of blue. Black Welsh Mountain. Don't know me. Um, don't card No. No, I lie. I lie. I lie. The swobblies and that I did um, straight from the locks. So it's the Black Welsh Mountain. Um, straight from the locks onto the Nano, which was um, fascinating. I think I might have put a bit of Black Welsh in any anyway, but that's done. Whereas this blue one, which has also got other colours through it, is the... Um, the bats that I did on the, the first ones I did on the drum card where I think I overblended some, but then I think I did the last one differently. As you can see, it's got more blue in this because I'd cut it down the braid. I think it's fractal spinning anyway, but um, I'll have another go at that. Now, I have... Uh, I'm wondering where I needed... I did start plying them properly and then I just thought, sod it, I couldn't be bothered and I just, just held them together and bowled them. So I don't know whether I'm just going to keep it like that because I'm going to put it, make a cowl with this lovely sparkly. It's got a bit, a bit of sparkly in that way you can see the spark. Oh yeah, you get little bits of sparkle. This is a lovely grey. I'm turning blue a little bit, but hey, um, light grey. It's got Edwardian silver in its superwash merino nylon and star, uh, silver there's no indication of quantities it's something i got in a d-stash with other stuff um which is, i love gray and i really i am a great big gray fan that way you can see the twinkly bits i'm not a great big fan of stellina it's not my thing really but anyway 400 meters 100 grams four ply edwardian silver by elm tree yarns so it's elm tree yarns at etsy.com So, um, what I thought I would do is outside and inside of the ball to double up. I mean, you can split it into 250 grams. But I didn't really want to end up with lots of little bits. So, actually, that might do all right. Doubled up. Crocheted. I'm going to do a simple... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, look. That'll... Would have if I did it the right way around, wouldn't it? Oh, bugger. There you go. But you can see, two together. No, you can't. It's dropped off. That's why. One moment. <laughs> there we go. So, I think it'll go quite well together. I'm not going to wind them together. I could do, but... Oh, yeah. That'd be nice. But, no, I'm going to do... Um, trebles and doubles just as a simple straight color oh the other one this was the one <laughs> where i think you can see what the problem is in a way i've over blended i think a bit with these and i've lost the blue and that blue is absolutely gorgeous and i've used that piece up i have another thing of it as you can see the difference in the two yeah but i think it'll look rather fab and I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do, whether I'm going to start along the bottom and doing colours up that way or the colours that way. Oh, I can't quite decide. So I'm going to might do a toss up in the end. But anyway, so that's another thing which I want to get done today, really, because it won't take me long to crochet. It just when I finally decide which way I'm sending the stripes, whether I'm doing a long cast on. So round my neck, which isn't, which wouldn't be that bad, actually. <laughs> 
I think I'll probably go for that and then go up in colour to start with the grey. Do a bit of the brown, a bit more of the grey, do a bit of the bluey bit, a bit more of the grey, literally bits. Um, and we'll see how that goes and hopefully I'll be able to show you next time. Anyway, what else is going on? What else is going on? Well, it's, yeah, 1st of December. Um, I think that's about it for now. Just to say, um, keep safe, keep, keep that distance, keep that distance away. Um, and that's it, I think, for now. So I will see you tomorrow. Um, it's Loopy and Twister. Please like the, please like the, um, the vlog. Um, that's what YouTube likes us to do. So that'd be grateful. Share it, please, because I'd really love to have, um, to increase my subscribers and to increase my viewers and um i think that's it for now and i'll be back tomorrow okay um yeah see you then bye